Now you guys don't mind. I have strong opinions about Rate My Professor. You don't care if I go off on Rate My Professor. Yeah. These are real Rate My Professor reviews from our own. They are. Wow, okay. I was the first person to write a review on my Rate My Professor page. I checked about nine years ago and then decided not to check again. <laughs> it's not very complimentary, so. I'm going to cry. I'm gonna weep right here. We all, we all know that like some students love you and some students hate you. And some students are like, why do we have to do assignments in this class? <laughs> oh, this is a sweet one. Looking for an easy A? Run! Run! That's all caps. Only one exclamation point. This is a real college lever class. Lever, L-E-V-E-R. This is a real college lever class. Matt Hinckley is the sexiest professor on the planet. He's super smart and knows how to use the Twitters like a champ. Gosh, I hope they don't find out that I'm the one that wrote this. The only real puzzling, puzzling? The only real puzzling this about him is why someone with intelligence would choose to waste their time studying history. I ask myself that question all the time. This guy's the worst. He thinks the class is easy and he's not very helpful at all. I would never take him again. JK. What the hell is JK? Professor Noble is the best professor I've ever taken in college. He makes the class fun and the way he teaches is perfect. He actually inspired me to become a history teacher. I'm sorry. You're gonna be broke the rest of your life. Just get used to it. Professor Kat is beyond awesome. She is so energetic and fun. Obviously, this is someone that has me after I've had my coffee, because if you've seen me in the morning without caffeine, no, 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 not the same person. Ask anybody, ask anyone. Plus, she hands out candy for right answers. Of course I do, I have to bribe them. Plus, students, here's, a, here's, here's kind of a, um, a a tip, <laughs> students are so much nicer with candy. So much nicer <laughs> if you give them candy. I kind of doubted that he was the teacher when we walked in. He looks like he's no older than 26. I would wonder when this was written, actually, because being coordinator of my discipline has aged me. I didn't really give him a chance because I got scared and dropped his class on the second day. I never seen a book that thick Me neither. And I think I wrote that one. But that's, that's called, it's called fillers. AKA mini photos. <laughs> this class is not for slackers. That is true, that's a side note. This is definitely a class that needs to be taken serious. She also hates stupid questions. <laughs> there, there is no such thing as stupid questions, but yes, I do. OMG, this was most definitely a favorite class for me. It's so many group discussions that you can't help but to pay attention and gain interest. OMG, I got an OMG, that's pretty cool. Dusty Reasons is one of my favorite professors. Love, love, love her and we'll be taking another course of hers. Okay. She doesn't let anyone get away with anything. Miss class, better have documentation. Excuses don't fly. Seriously? You can't beat her in an argument. That's true. It's totally true. No one can beat me in an argument. This could have been one of the students who had a grandmother die twice, and the same, sem same grandmother died twice, same semester. Mr. Noble is the kind of teacher whose class you miss only if you're dying. He's funny and extremely knowledgeable. Made history so much wazy <laughs> and fun to learn. For our final, he played Highway to Hell, which set us in the mood. Well, if there's one thing I like to do, it's get my class in the mood. <laughs> one of the few teachers I've had that valued content of the submission more than the formatting. That's a pretty positive one. I, I don't know whether that's worse for my colleagues or, or, or not. I had a really good experience with Prof Morris. He's got a dry sense of humor. It reminds me of Grumpy Cat. 
but that makes the lessons more entertaining. I have more hair than Grumpy Cat. I had a good experience with Professor Morris. See, this is why I don't like to read them. Even the good ones make me go, what, is, what do they think we did? What did, I, what did I do? She never accepts late work. It was crazy. I do recommend her, but it drove me crazy how she takes so long to grade stuff. Sigh, very long sigh, because that is very accurate. I start out really good grading stuff, and then not so much. So yeah, I'm sure I drove them crazy, but they drove me crazy too. Dr. Shazia Ali deserves to get an award for the Professor of the Year. Wow, representing Eastfield College, very organized and replies emails fast. You're welcome. Did you write that? No. He literally only teaches when students have questions. The rest of the class is wasted on pointless conversation <laughs> <laughs> about whatever comes up. He says, don't expect him to just teach us the information. We have to have questions. You know, God forbid you come to class with questions after you read something you don't understand. <laughs> the whole point is to relate what you're learning to the real world, and that's why we talk about current events. <laughs> <laughs> I love the vocabulary on his cards. <laughs> yeah, who are, he's a hoot. And a pleasure to learn from. His catchphrases are hilarious, and he's known for his map of the United States when he lectures. I do draw a map, and it's really well done, so I'm glad that they um, It looks uh, a like a, something between a cow and a toot. Yeah, so. it's always a toss-up. Is it a cow or a tooth? Yeah. And I have a chili pepper. It's been a while. Oh, look, there's chili peppers on top. So how exciting. I love you students, but you do make me crazy too. Congrats. You, you were the blank male chili pepper on RateMyProfessors.com for our group of contenders. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, congrats. <laughs> you were the hottest female chili pepper on RateMyProfessors.com for our group of contenders. Um, thank you. We're all looking for the chili pepper. <laughs> Are there any pointers or advice you would give to new students who will be reviewing their instructors on Rate My Professor? Yes, don't bother. It's a complete waste of time. Rate My Professor, for example, is about as reliable as Yelp. Don't do it drunk. It's important to understand that you are listening to complete strangers. As a writing instructor, of course, like we always know who says what because we know how they write. So it's like, this is anonymous. No, it's totally not anonymous. So I like for them to actually go in and say what they feel about the class because it's all that, you know, you know, any publicity is good publicity kind of thing. For better or worse, you know, I think it's, uh, it's good for students to have that voice. I don't care what you say, just as long as it's not the truth. It's a good tool, but you want to use it with caution. And I think you should always talk to a professor and see because maybe they're not as bad as some of these comments. Come see us to, su to just find out how we are, good or bad. Don't read this. Yeah, I'm yeah. a hoot. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs>